Hey everybody, it's Austin Jones from LessonsWithAustin.com. I have a real quick tutorial for uh, beginner guitar students. I'm going to teach you how to play a couple of chords in the key of G. Very basic, but extremely important if you want to play any type of music like country, contemporary worship music, um, any type of modern rock music that's going to be on the acoustic guitar. You're going to need to learn how to play in the key of G. So let's get started. All right, the first chord that we're going to learn in the key of G is a G chord. It's a pretty simple chord, but it's the best one to get started with. So to get started with the G chord, you're going to take your middle finger and you're going to go all the way over to the E string, third fret. And just make sure you push them down real hard. Try not to make your finger lean. You want your finger to come up. If you prevent your hand from touching the side of the fretboard, then you should be able to make a, a pretty nice art on your finger so that it's not touching the rest of the fretboard. So get that note in there and try to make it right in between, right in the middle between the fret wires. Next, next finger, while your middle finger is on the E string third fret, take your ring finger and you're gonna go to the second string third fret. And again, try to make sure we're not leaning our fingers too much. We want to try to stick our fingers up pretty high. Make sure our knuckles are pointing up. Finally, you're going to take your pinky, put it on the first string, third fret. And there you have it. So take your guitar pick and just strum through all six strings. You may notice that your A string is a bit muted. That's fine. The way we really want to get this G working though is by taking your index finger and putting it on the A string 2nd fret. This may be the hardest part about playing this chord because the middle finger has a tendency to lean when you're first learning this chord. So give it your best effort and try to make sure that our middle finger is sticking up and go ahead and strum. If you're having a hard time getting that A string to ring out, that's okay, it's not a problem. You can even just relax your index finger, lift it up, and you can play your G like that. So either way is fine with your index finger on the A string, second fret, or without. But just make sure that my sixth string is clear, my fourth and second string are open, and they sound clear and my first and second string, both on the third fret with my ring finger and my pinky, that sounds clear. And that's a G. So once you get that, take your hands off, let your blood flow, and then try to make that G again. You wanna do that about eight or 10 times, just taking your hand off and going back to the G. And you notice the more you do that, your muscle memory will become reinforced and you'll start to find that chord a lot quicker. Remember our fingers aren't leaning. Remember my fingers, my pinky's not crossing the fret. If your pinky crosses over to the fourth fret, you're gonna hear a sound like this, which creates a tritone, which is no good. In the ancient church, they would have to chop your finger off if you played that, so be careful. And once you get that G chord, the next chord we're going to learn is a C add 9. A C add 9. Pretty simple chord. Once you have the G, all you're going to do is you're going to take your middle finger and your index finger and you're going to move it over one string. So the middle finger is going to come from the E string 3rd fret over to the A string 3rd fret. And your index finger is going to come over from the A string 2nd fret to the D string 2nd fret. Your pinky and your ring finger are going to stay in the same place. Make sure that our knuckles are sticking straight up and our hand is not touching the side of the fretboard. Once you do that, you're actually going to start strumming on the A string, the string that your middle finger's on. Five strings. Make sure that sounds clear. If you're only using the middle finger technique, go from G 
move your middle finger over to the A string. And you can act, it'll, your middle finger will actually mute the D string, and that's okay. You do like that. So you can do G to C, or G to C. And once you get that, pretty comfortable playing that C add 9. Go back to G, strum G four times, and then go to C. And get used to going back from G to C. Make sure all the strings are clear. Make sure our fingers are not leaning. Make sure our fingers are not crossing the frets. Back to G. The third chord that we're going to want to learn is an E minor 7. So I want you got G and C add 9. Go back to the G. So play an E minor 7. You want to start off with a G chord like this. And as long as your pinky and your ring finger are still on the first and second string, they're not going to move. Your index finger is going to be on the fifth string, second fret. The only thing you need to do to make an E minor 7 is just lift your middle finger and strum all six strings. And that's going to give you an E minor 7. And make sure our index finger is not leaning because we don't want it touching the A string. Now, if you want to add a little bit to this chord, I would suggest taking the middle finger and coming over to the fourth string second fret, and putting the middle finger down right there on the D string second fret. I like playing my E minor seven like that a little bit better. But you could play it without the middle finger, that's fine too. Once you get your E minor seven, go back to your G, Go to an E minor, go to a C, C add 9, go back to an E minor 7. And try to get used to changing between G and C and E minor 7 and get the feel for that. Who knows, maybe you can make up your own song. All right, the last chord that you're going to need to learn in the key of G is going to be a D major. And there's a couple steps to this. Start with your G chord, because everything in the key of G starts and ends with the G. You're going to take your middle finger, and you're going to bring your middle finger all the way to the first string, second fret. Put it down right there. Meanwhile, your pinky and your ring finger are still going to stay on the first and second string, third fret. Also, you're going to take your index finger, and you're going to come over to the third string, string G, go to the second fret and push that down. Once you get your hand just like that, you're going to strum four strings starting with the D string. So my D string will be open and you're going to play all four of those strings. So you may be looking at this chord and think, okay, why would you have me put my middle finger on the first string second fret when my pinky is already on the third fret of the first string? Well, when you play this chord with your pinky down, you're not actually playing a D major yet. What you're playing is what's called a D suspended fourth. Now don't worry too much about why it's called that, but just know that your pinky is covering this note that makes it a suspended note. And what this note is wanting to do in the D is wanting to resolve to the second fret right here. Now be sure that my ring finger is not leaning, that's not touching. And you'll notice that when I play a D suspended, and then I lift my pinky, that's when I get a D. So D suspended, D. Now why do you want to know that? Well, when I'm changing chords from the G, and I go to D suspended, not only is it acceptable, but it actually sounds pretty good to, to play the D suspended and then play the D. And if I'm going to go back to a G, a C, or an E minor, I might want to go ahead and hit that suspended again and then go to my next chord. So 
So once you get that, go over my G, go to my D, suspended, D major, go to my C, go back to my D suspended, go to E minor. And practice playing these chords slowly in different orders. Try to change it up the different orders. And it's really important when you're playing through these chords that you think about the chord that you're playing. Don't forget the names of the chords. You may want to say out loud E minor, C add 9, D suspended, D major, G. Hey everybody, thanks again for watching. These are a few beginner chords in the key of G. There are more chords in the key of G, so make sure you stay tuned. Go to the video link below and click subscribe so you can know when we come out with a few more videos. Also, make sure you like the video as well. And I also want to encourage you to go to the right side of the webpage if you're on the webpage. If not, click on this link right here. This will take you to a link to where you can sign up for the email list. Email subscribers get free extra tips and goodies and free videos that are only available exclusively through the email service. So make sure you join that as well. If you have any questions or comments, I would like to hear back from you. Leave a comment in the box below, and I'll respond to that pretty, pretty quickly. And if you have any requests for a future video, go ahead and post that below, and I'll get started working on that for you as well. Thanks again for watching. Bye.